My name is Todd Reichert. Uh, I was the pilot and, uh, and lead designer of the aircraft. And I'm a PhD student at the University of Toronto. And what you're seeing now is the flight on August 2nd is actually the first human-powered ornithopter to fly and to, and to sustain flight. The Snowbird human-powered ornithopter. Uh, it was built by a team of uh, university students at the University of Toronto. Uh, and it was constructed uh, just north of Toronto in Tottenham. The whole aircraft has a span of uh, 105 feet, 32 meters, uh, and it only weighs 94 pounds. So for its size, it is incredibly, incredibly light. So the primary structure is all carbon fiber tubes. Uh, the secondary structure, the ribs and smaller components, are all uh, essentially basswood and foam, uh, sort of what you would make like a model plane out of. The whole aircraft being that lightweight totals uh, 94 pounds. Essentially, every single bit of it is is about to fail at any given moment. Uh, if something is not very, very close to failure, then it's probably way too heavy, uh, and then we, t we try to cut weight on that. The idea behind the project was to achieve the original aeronautical dream, flying under your own power by flapping wings. So with such a low wing loading, so yeah, we wait for perfect wind, we tow it up to speed using just a, a small car, and then once we get it to, a, to the altitude that we want, we pull the release and we start flapping and we try to sustain that, uh, that airspeed and that altitude. Uh, the mechanism, you, uh, the pilot pushes uh, with his legs and every time he pushes, uh, that's connected through a set of pulleys and wires directly to the wings. So you push and the wings are driven down and then the aerodynamic forces pull the wings back up. Those kinematics, essentially, that wing sweeping down produces the thrust to keep the aircraft going forwards. Uh, and the, the wings produce lift uh, in, in the same way that any, any aircraft produces lift. The, uh, the controls are really interesting. I mean, piloting it is, is very different than any other aircraft. It, it reacts so slowly because of its enormous span. So you make a control input, and literally five or 10 seconds later, the aircraft starts to maneuver. So you really have to think very far ahead of the aircraft uh, and anticipate what's going to happen. Our longest sustained flight was 19.3 seconds where we maintained altitude and maintained airspeed. Um, and that's what we consider a sustained flight. And there was a, a representative there from the Federation uh, Aeronautique Internationale uh, to, to witness the flight. And we've now submitted all of our documentation, our GPS data. So the FAI will be looking at that. And uh, within the next month, uh, they'll be ratifying it as an official world record. We're all pretty excited here. It's been uh, quite the journey, uh, quite the aircraft to pilot, and just all around uh, total blast.